Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look. I am trying to imitate or do something similar to Allie Glines. I'm going to put her picture right here. Uh, she did a look uh, very similar to this, not quite the same, but I wanted to show that I could create a look of that intensity with Mary Kay products. I think a lot of times people uh, think Mary Kay products are your grandma's makeup and they don't know that Mary Kay is incredibly innovative. It's always moving up trying to be more on trend and to follow what people need. You can get in a totally glam look with Mary Kay products. I mean, I made this nothing but Mary Kay and it's very intense and it's a little bit of a different style than I typically do but I thought it would be fun to try also um, Allie Glines in her video that we are trying to kind of follow today uh, she talks about the um, the reason she likes the company she's using so she uses Thrive Cosmetics which gives back to women she uses something called Nabla Cosmetics that, and Alamar Cosmetics and those are both companies that uh, might not get enough um, shout out and so she was trying to show her favorite products that come from these companies that are really great that nobody really talks about so hence why I'm doing this once again is Mary Kay is like rarely talked about in the YouTube community so uh, Mary Kay overall is one of the top beauty companies their products have been mentioned in Allure uh, beauty magazine as in Allure best rewards several times their cosmetics are phenomenal but I think because you can't walk into a store to purchase them uh, they don't get enough shout out instead you have to go find a woman to support her like a woman owned business like that's totally a fad right now like people are like realizing support a woman owned business support women trying to take care of themselves support women CEOs guess what when you buy Mary Kay can cosmetics you support women and you support their women owned businesses also Mary Kay donates um, I believe has donated 28 million in an efforts to help find cures for uh, cancers commonly affecting women. Also, another awesome thing is that when you wash your face with Mary Kay Cosmetics or their skincare line, when you wash your face with Mary Kay, you actually support uh, women and children that need safety because Mary Kay has done let's see has done 60 million over 60 million dollars in support providing shelters for women in uh, situations of domestic abuse and all kinds of different things so 60 million dollars when you wash your face part of your profit will go to help causes like that to giving women and children safe places to be safe havens so when you wash your face with Mary Kay and you moisturize with Mary Kay you are like you are supporting purposes way deeper than just your skin and your skin is the largest organ in your body that's a decent purpose to take care of I mean like it's the vehicle that covers your internals I mean if you can imagine a car without the body of a car like your skin's the body of the car and you have to take care of the body of the car or else you'd look really funny anyways so you have to take care of the body of the car and your skin is the largest organ and so you take care of it with skincare in turn when you purchase that skincare and your moisturizer which is skincare you help uh, pay for cancer research literally you're helping pay for cancer research when you buy the skin the moisturizers and then when you buy the face washes you are helping women in domestic abuse and their children and you're helping women find shelter also it's at the highest the highest caliber because it, it meets Mary Kay cosmetics meets the European standard so they eliminate over 2,000 products that are harmful for your skin and Mary Kay doesn't have any of those in them rant over if you want to see how to get this look just keep watching I'm going to put a little concealer on my lids I'm gonna go in with the Light Ivory Perfecting Concealer by Mary Kay, and then I'm gonna set it down with the Translucent Loose Powder. Just dab that on there. This is the Mary Kay Blending Sponge. All right, this is the funny part. I always look like such a goon after I put the concealer on my lids before I do mask, uh, before I do the eyeshadow and everything. This is where I start to look like dead. I'm going to set that down using the translucent loose powder and I'm going to go in with a, a powder foundation brush. All of these products will be my Mary Kay so I'll just stop saying by Mary Kay because unless I say otherwise they're made by Mary Kay. I do this simply because it 
uh, covers any veins in my lid, um, any discolorations. If you're somebody that has one solid lid color, count yourself lucky. I'm just doing this to even out the canvas before I put on eyeshadow, so I just have one really nice solid color to paint over. It's as if I had like a canvas, um, a white canvas, and I was going to paint. Typically, you want that canvas to be white all over. You don't want blue running through it, or you don't want something else running through it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making my canvas all one solid color. Okay, so she takes a really light color. It's called, I think it was called Pantheon in the palette. So I'm gonna take my favorite shade, Biscotti, cause I use it in like every video. Anyway, so I'm gonna take Biscotti. It's about the closest um, comparison that she has in the video. And then she takes it up under her brow to kind of establish a, like a lineup here, I believe is what she said. So we're gonna take that under the brow and blend it down just a bit. Next, I'm going to dip into Deja Vu in the same palette. I'm still trying to figure out what direction I want to go with this eye look. Okay, so the next shade she goes into um, looks somewhat similar to this shade right here. The shade she's using a little bit deeper, so I may mix it with this one if I need to make it a little bit deeper. And I'm going to, she blends it into the crease as a transition shade. So I'm going to put that in as a transition shade as well. I think this has a very similar look. She gets kind of a peachy look from it, at least from her camera, what it appears to look like. Um, it's kind of a peachy look. This brush I'm using is actually not a Mary Kay brush. This brush, I like to use this one for my transition shade. Um, this one is a mini tapered blending brush number three by Farah. Farah does pretty decent brushes as well. At least the brushes that I have from Farah I like. I think I have two or three of her brushes. What if it's not a her? Okay, well I have two or three of the Farah brand brushes. You applied first underneath the brow. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to go more Red or more she brings it out a little blue. bit over here. So what if we tried like her eye shape is a little different than mine though, so she brings out kind of like where you could I would imagine that's where the bone in her lid sits, so she kind of brings it out like that. So I'm going to faux mimic that because my bone is not doesn't sit like that. My bone is much more like semicircle like her line is much more defined than mine. I'm gonna have to build that a little bit more. Maybe bring in another color. So then she goes into kind of a red shade. So we are going to try, um, the red shade she's using is a little bit more of like this color mixed with this color. If they were blended together, that might be what it would look like. So I'm going to blend those two together. And then she kind of does a diagonal onto the eye first, brings it up to the crease. And then she brings it into the crease a little bit. And then I think she goes back and actually builds it up. And then we're going to build that into the crease a bit. This is the pomegranate shade. I think it's limited edition, so it's only while supplies last. Um, and so I'm mixing these two together to create this look. And I'm taking about three dips into um, pomegranate and then three dips into cinnabar and then I'm applying it to the lid as she did. I'm going to take that fluffy brush and blend out this edge a bit. You know me ain't into those big lines. This is my bad eye. It hates to blend for some dumb reason. I think I have a scar on my lid or something. Then I'm gonna take that light shade again to clean up my line. I just caught my brush as it fell, yeah buddy. Her lines are so much sharper than mine. I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a flat all over brush 
And I'm going to mix, let's see. I've got my mixture. I'm mixing colors on my hand to see. I think I'm gonna go with the more purpley version. So I'm going to dip. I'm gonna blend these two together a little bit and then I'm gonna cover it with this purpley shade or I might go in with a shade that's basically that color. This color right here. This isn't one of my older palettes. And then she goes over this line and deepens that up. Yeah. It looks a little bit more red though, so I'm gonna add more of that pink back in. Oh, whoops. Slow down, Allie. She's going into sparkles already. So I'm placing a combination of shades. I'm mixing together the pomegranate shade, um, the shade called Merlot, and another like kind of a shiny purple because the, the color she uses looks like it has some shimmer to it. If I'm wrong, I'm just blind. Then I might mix in just a little brown to mix them together, because she mentioned a brown. Oh, I don't know if I like mixing in the brown. Wow, this is gonna be one heck of a mixture tutorial. I should have just used Cinnabar and the other one, and I probably would have already been to this look. All right, mixing those together. Looking like a crazy lady. She has that really intensive white line that I'm gonna have to put back. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the shimmer shade she talks about. I can't stand seeing that line. It's gonna drive me bonkers. That's what I'm supposed to do, Casey. Shut up and go with it. She's got this really from Thrive Cosmetics. It's purpley blue shade on her lid that's nice and shiny. So that's what we're gonna do next. And I'm going to actually dip into this blue right here. This blue is called Evening Navy, and I'm just gonna lightly dip into that and tap off the excess. I'm gonna apply that onto the lid. I'm filling in the area I haven't filled yet, so that white section, and then I'm going to bring it over a little bit onto the um, purples and such that we've used already. So right now it's matte, we're gonna add the shimmer part. <laughs> I'm getting eyeshadow on my face. Cause it's all over my hands, look at that. This is what happens when you decide to be an artist and mix colors. So, I look a little funny right now. We're gonna make this happen, or I'm gonna ditch this video and redo it. Now we're gonna put the shimmer on. So I'm actually gonna go into the shade Hummingbird, which is another one that came in a limited edition set. It's this shade right here. Um, it looks gray in the pan, but it's a really pretty shimmer. And then afterwards, I'll probably add Crystalline if I want a little more shimmer or I'll add one of the really light ones. So I'm using a gray now with some shimmer to make it pop a little bit and lighten the color. Now the shades she's using are really, really foiled, so I'm gonna continue with shimmers until I get somewhat of a foiled effect like she is using. So now I'm going over with another really light uh, probably the lightest shimmer shade we have. I believe this is called Moonstone. And I'm going over with that. And now I'm gonna go over the center with a little bit of um, a purple shimmer shade. This purple shimmer shade is called Sweet Plum. And I'm gonna use that to bring in a little bit more of that purple again. There is a blue shimmer shade, I just don't own it. I may need to purchase it now. Cause this, on my phone it looks very blue, but she says it's, it's very blue purple. Juliana, I think is how you say it. And it's a really beautiful deep purple. I feel like that's gonna look really nice. I think nice. I'm gonna have to redo this so whole look. Line. I'm gonna take the Mary Kay um, eyebrow and eyeliner brush and I'm going to dip into 
the shade Espresso. It's a super deep brown, this color right here. I'm gonna place that as close to the eye as I can. Making a small wing, uh, using this liner brush, it makes it a lot easier to use a small wing or to make a small wing. Not that I need my eye makeup. Oh, she to goes in with a deep but, purple. You know, if you're following this tutorial after I post it sometime and you want it to work, so I'm gonna go in purple really after this brown. Colors, it's a great way to make your eyeliner last is to set it with eyeshadow. I'm going back in with the brush. That all right, so then I'm gonna go into the shade more low because she says she uses a purple shade. This is relatively purple. I also have a this really deep sweet plum shade. Maybe I'll go in with sweet plum. That might be even better. Should we go in with sweet plum or Merlot? Or both? We're gonna go with Merlot on the corner, see what we think. Oh, that's very pretty. Has she done the lower lash line? Yeah, she hasn't done the lower lash line yet. So we'll wait on the lower lash line. I think she's gonna go into face or to mascara now. So, looks especially, I feel like it gives she's, me extremely false looking lashes. You guys already know how much I love the Thrive Cosmetic. So she is using a lash, a mascara to make her look like she has super false lashes. I am opening a brand new mascara. I have been speaking in my other videos that I'm running out of this one. It's, it's done for. So my Lash Love Mascara is out. This is the Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. so that I can wipe away the fallout. So she goes in with a glittery shade. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade right here called Moonstone, this one right here. And she does that on her inner corner. So we're gonna do that right now. She says she does it right now so she can wipe away any fallout. So now we're gonna move to primer. I'm gonna go in with the Mary Kay Broad Spectrum uh, Primer. And I'm gonna apply that onto the back of my hand and then onto a brush and apply it in circular motions. Once again, this is to make sure you fill the pore from 360 degrees and helps give you a really poreless finish. But then you fill the pore all the way instead of just one direction. All right, now that we have primer on, we're gonna go in with foundation. Um, she uses a foundation she really loves and I'm going to use the uh, TimeWise 3D Matte Foundation and I'm going to use the shade N140, stands for Neutral 140. I'm gonna apply that on the back of my hand and use my uh, foundation brush. I may actually go in with the blending brush today though because she does a very full coverage finish. So, all right, we're gonna try the blending brush today for a more full coverage finish. I have actually never used this brush before. We're learning all around. I really like to use this foundation brush. This is like the best foundation brush on the planet. But we're gonna try this one today. So with this brush, I can definitely tell it looks better when I go in circular motions. So if you do have the Mary Kay blending brush, I would suggest going in circular motions. You can use um, s like stripes to get it out and dispense it across your face and then blend it in in circular motions. I'm just gonna take anything that's left on the brush and drag it under my jawline to make sure it blends down onto my neck. And then I always make sure to go into the hairline. I'll show you a trick to get that off the hair in just a second. I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm gonna spray my brow spoolie. And then I'm going to take that into my hairline like this. Just simply, this helps get any of that um, makeup off the hair. 
and then it moves your product into the um, hairline so you don't have one of those really intensive lines. So it's not like that's where her makeup ends. Instead, it looks like it's truly your skin. Now, what does she do next? Little hair back here. <laughs> oh well, that's why I do makeup tutorials, not hair tutorials. Okay, I'm just continuing. True that, girl. To True that. Out. I'm Don't expect hair tutorials from me anytime skin. soon. She goes in with concealer, but today I actually just applied a little bit more of my foundation underneath my eyes to brighten them up a bit. And now um, she's gonna go in and do her lower lash line. I've already watched this part. Where is my brush? Okay, so I'm gonna grab my ice measure brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Cinnabar. And I'm going to drag that along the lower lash line on both sides, just ever so lightly. I actually have a little bit of um, transfer from my topper from my upper lash line what am I trying to say yeah from my upper lash line um, and so I'm just gonna go lightly with this along the lower lash line and I'm going about three quarters of the way in now she's moving to bronzer I'm actually gonna set down so I'm gonna set down really quickly just under my eyes with the translucent loose powder and my powder brush I'm just gonna go really lightly right there so we don't get any creases I'm gonna get the end of my nose just a little bit. My chin and my forehead, where I tend to get an expression line, which I just found out. Mary Kay has a product called the Wrinkle Filler, and it is for things like expression lines and um, various lines on your face. And so I am going to be buying that. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Latte, which is a contour shade, and then I'll use our bronzer. Um, this shade right here is called Latte. It's a contour shade. I'm gonna take the Mary Kay Cheek Brush, and I'm going to apply that from about the ear into my cheeks. This brush is naturally tapered, so it won't continue to like bulk up product and it just tapers off. Then I'm gonna go up to my forehead and along my hairline for my big girl forehead. So if you have a really tiny forehead, you really wouldn't need to contour much on top of your head. Um, you could do ever so lightly in any areas you feel are a little larger, maybe just to give your face a little bit of warmth, like with a bronzer. You don't need intensive contour if you don't have a giant forehead like I do. Then I'm gonna go on my jawline and brush along my jawline. And then I'm gonna take any remaining product down my neck a little bit. I think I'm gonna take the fluffy, this is an all over powder brush, and I'm gonna go in with the Gilded Glow Bronzer created by Mary Kay. Uh, this is an illuminating bronzer, and I believe this is limited edition, um, so I need to actually go buy like 30 of these so I can have them. I really like this illuminating bronzer. It's giving me a nice dewy look, actually. Nah, grab this powder brush and just make sure. Don't get too much too low. Then she goes in with a, uh, she goes in with several blushes actually. So I'm just going to bounce and back and forth between these two blushes. Uh, this blush is called Hot Coral and this blush is called um, Desert Rose. And so I'm going to bounce between the two of those. I'm gonna use that same cheek brush. I'm just gonna flip it. I use it this way to contour and this way for blush. I'm gonna dip into Hot Coral. I might not even need Desert Rose if I build this up. 
I'll give just a taste of Desert Rose. Ooh, forgot how pink that one is. Right, so it's been a hot minute because I'm watching a video and doing this at the same time. Uh, my camera keeps heating up. So I'm gonna try to speed these things up really quick. We are going to finish off with some highlight and lips. I'm gonna go in with this, uh, this highlighter. This is called Glazed. And I'm going to apply that from the insides of my cheeks out towards my cheekbone ever so lightly. And I'm using this edge of the cheek brush. This is a, um, I don't remember if it's a four in one or three in one brush, but I know it's at least three in one because I've used it for three different things. Take a little bit on my nose. A little bit on the forehead. Cupid's bow. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna tap into Moonstone. And I'm just going to, that's quite a bit of pigment, kind of place that onto my cheeks. I'm going to take the Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder, tap some into the lid, and I'm going to take the um, All Over Powder Brush. I'm actually going to grab a different one because the other one has some bronzer on it. And I'm going to dust that all over the face, and this is going to really lock it in and then also blend out any harsh lines or anything that's looking a little too intense. I'm going to spray my face and do my brows and lips. This is the Mary Kay Setting Spray. I'm going to go in with the Mary Kay Precision Brow Liner and just kind of finish out the front of my brows just a little bit. I'm going to take my Volumizing Brow Tint in the shade Blonde. My precision brow liner was in the shade dark blonde, just in case you, in case I didn't say that. Lips. She goes in with a lip liner and then a lipstick. So we're going to go in with the medium nude lip liner by Mary Kay, naturally. Then I'm going to continue to fill in my lips. Alright, and then I think I'm going to end with a little bit of the Rich Truffle uh, Semi Matte Lipstick and apply it just to the centers. Just to give my lips a little bit of definition. Then my mama's old trick. Okay, spray her down. Sorry, my, um, my, uh, what am I trying to say? I had an appointment, so I had to stop really quick and do my appointment, and I'm back. Uh, I'm finishing the video now, though, so. Uh, this is very similar to the look she did in the picture. I think I could probably dramatize my eyelashes a little bit. She has really beautiful natural uh, long eyelashes though. So for working with what I have, I think I did a really, really good job of imitating a similar look. And uh, my point was to prove that you can have a very bold and on trend look with Mary Kay products. I think a lot of people think it's just your grandma's makeup and they don't know that I used entirely Mary Kay products to get this look. Totally Mary Kay. I don't think that's grandma's makeup. This is a very dramatic look created with that grandma's makeup. So I wanted to show you guys, you guys, you can totally be on trend with this makeup. If you wanna see more full glam tutorials like this, let me know. I can do this. I just thought it would be interesting to see, um, to try another person's makeup style out uh, while using my makeup. And 
I used to do more of a full glam like this all the time and I kind of strayed away from it when my life got really busy just because I didn't have time to do something like this. But if you guys are interested in seeing more really full glam videos like this, make sure to let me know. I will most certainly do them for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back and visit me. Uh, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be able to be notified on your phone or computer every time I upload and you won't miss a video. I will be doing lots more. I have a giveaway I'm doing as soon as I reach 100 subscribers. That is hopefully just around the corner, so you'll want to be a subscriber to find out how to enter into that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go follow uh, Ali Glines if you really like bold uh, glam tutorials. She does, well, she doesn't do all bold and glam, but they're very glam. So if you like what uh, a book similar to this, I would go follow her as well. Give her a little bit of love. She's got way more subscribers than me, though, so if anybody needs some love, it's me. Just kidding. All right. I love you all. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Now we're going to move to her. Oh, no. Backwards. But she's also I didn't want to skip it. Go back. Vampire. My mornings are ah. to the... Focus on the shade.